This past weekend, Cygames showcased a brand new trailer for their highly anticipated action JRPG Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. And in this video, we're going to dig into the trailer, talk about some exciting new updates for the game, and when in 2022 we could expect to play it. And without further delay, let's just dig into this juicy new gameplay. Now for those that have been following the game, the first thing that you'll probably notice is a huge visual upgrade. All the environments and all the characters have way more details, it's much crisper, there's tons of better animations, especially compared to that 2020 trailer, not to mention that was running on a super low quality stream so it was hard to see what it even really looked like, and not to mention a ton of great looking spell effects. The other thing that was really exciting to see was more shots of the world itself. Previously, it was a lot of these linear dungeon hallway looking things, so it wasn't clear if we were going to get some big open environments, especially because the game is set in these, they call it the Skyloft, these big skyward islands and stuff, so it's like show some of that off, so it was really great to see some of that. There's also a variety of environments, not only these like plains areas, but it looked like some desert, some forested areas, so it was really great to see a nice variety. And I have to say from the little bit that they did show in this trailer, it all looks very detailed, looks really lush, vibrant, alive and again that wasn't really showcased in previous trailers and that was the thing that was the most impressive to me in this new trailer was just how full and detailed the world looked. I also liked the showcase of different combat variety. Now previously they had shown some of the main characters like Gran and Jita and Catalina, a lot of sword users, but this time around they showed casters, they showed whip users, they showed a couple characters with guns. So no matter what kind of combat style you like to play with, there's probably going to be a character for you in this game which is really exciting. Now they didn't really show direct control of it, but they really seem to emphasize the airship in this game. Again, I don't really think you're gonna be able to control it when the game comes, but you know, obviously you're hopping between these different floating islands. So I think the airship will play some role, whether that's your means, it's sort of like a, like a menu more than anything else. And that's where you'll land and dock from when you go to these different islands. But again, I wouldn't be all that surprised even if you could control it as an airship, like in an open world environment, that would be super cool. Now they didn't say this directly, but one thing I noticed is that it seems like you'll be able to get new gear that will show up on the characters themselves. Near the beginning of the trailer and in previous trailers, you will see Gran and Jita in kind of basic armor design with not a ton of armor, just sort of their, their pink and blue shirts underneath. But then as a the trailer goes on, they get more heavily armored. So my thought is I'm wondering if as the game goes on, you'll get new armor that you can equip to your character and it'll actually show up. Or if it's more of a story centric thing, kind of like like in Final Fantasy Tactics where uh, Ramza would show different armor as the game went on. It's unclear what that will be, but it's an interesting thing to take note of and hopefully it's something that shows up visually, especially with all your weapons as the game goes on. And overall to me, the game just looks amazing. There was a nice visual upgrade from the previous trailer. It looks super nice and crisp, tons of awesome animations. And in fact, if you compare the animations of certain characters in this trailer to the same characters of previous trailers, they look much more slick, much more smooth, more dynamic. It just looks awesome. It seemed like this game is totally on track. Now, Psy Games did share quite a few exciting updates for the game, so let's go through those now. They did mention during the live stream that the game is in the final stages of development. Now they didn't give a release date yet and they said they were hesitant to give one because of everything that's going on with COVID and they weren't sure if there would be any big setback so they didn't want to put a date down and then have a setback later. But they did say that the game is progressing nicely and they did confirm a 2022 worldwide release and also a Steam PC release version. I know a lot of people were looking for a PC version previously it was only PS4 then they added PS5 and now it's also coming to PC which is really exciting. And this was not mentioned but I'm going to predict this now. I think Xseed is going to publish this game in the West and the reason I say that is because Xseed had previously published Grand Blue Fantasy Versus and Shadowverse Champions Battle, both games that were developed based on Psy Games internal properties, their own IP. So it makes sense that Xseed would do this one. This is a huge game. Psy Games wants to get it right. So why not go with a trusted publisher like Xseed, especially one that they've worked with previously. They also confirmed that there are 14 playable characters so far, and they did say that more reveals are on the way. And there's at least three characters that I can see them adding that have not been added to the roster yet. The first for sure is Fairy, and I say Fairy not only because she was in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, but she was actually in the very first gameplay trailer for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, so it makes sense that they would bring her back. And two other extremely popular characters, again, that were in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, are Matera and Yarmaya. 
Now I think Matera because, well, she's sexy and again, you know, popular character and she's a bow user. You know, there aren't any bow users in the game so far, at least that I know of. So having a bow character would add some gameplay variety and Yarmaya is just popular for obvious reasons. And I think it would be a big mistake to not have her be in the game for that reason. They also gave some more details on the modes for the game and thankfully there is a single player story component. Previously, all the footage that we had seen was all these linear dungeons with an emphasis on multiplayer and co-op. So a lot of people were thinking that this might've been a co-op only game, but that's not the case. There is gonna be a big single player story. So that's exciting for me and all you story focused players out there. But there is a separate quest mode where you can either bring in your you know, computer controlled party or you can do co-op with your friends and clear harder bosses and harder dungeons. So whatever you feel like doing, there's something for you. Now this quest mode, this co-op mode, it's unclear what it entails. Like, is it gonna be like Monster Hunter where you're grinding for gear and trying to get stronger? Or if it's just for fun, trying to do quests, it's unclear, but hopefully they'll detail that as the release date gets closer. And speaking of a release date, when can we expect to be playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink? We've been waiting for so long. Well, in the stream, they did mention that the game is in the final stages of development and that on March 10th will mark the eighth anniversary for the mobile game Grand Blue Fantasy. And during then, they'll probably have some more announcements. And my guess is around there is when we might expect a release date announcement. Now, I don't expect the game to come out during March. I think they just might have more announcements. Now, if I had to guess a window, I would say late summer, early fall like August September seems like the right time you know in the summer not too many games are coming out and like November is really when all the heavy hitters come out so there might be a nice window right in there somewhere for them to get some coverage get some people talking about the game so I think that is when we can expect to play and they did say a worldwide release next year so it won't be one of these things where we have to wait too far from the Japanese release. Now, if you're excited about this game like I am and want to dive into even more content about Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, then make sure you check out this video right here. And if you love JRPGs and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for tons of more videos every week. You're not going to regret it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.